we are taking an example for hypothesis testing for population mean by looking at milk which is a commonly used food item and our question is is a milk supplier adding water in the milk milk is also used by average roadside vendors as well as by big chain of restaurants and uh, the purity of milk is very important for them even though water constitutes more than 80 percent of milk as you can see in this process of splitting the milk but still added water may have uh, bad health as well as preservation consequences some people even take the pains of going straight to the milk supply just to make sure that uh, the milk does not have any added water but such a coexistence with the cattle I mean you can say has a lot of inconveniences especially in terms of traffic Here is another way of testing whether a milk supply has added water in it and that is by using an instrument such as this one to measure the freezing point of samples of milk and then comparing it with the standard parameter. So the example that we have here is this that the manager of a big chain of restaurants suspects that the milk supplier is adding water in the supply. Now, how to do a test to confirm this? The manager knows that the freezing point of pure milk from the region of interest is normally distributed with the parameters that are shown here. Now, which means that it's distributed along this bell curve. Now added water raises the freezing point so what the manager decides is to measure the freezing points of 20 simple random samples of 2 milliliters each and see if the mean freezing point of these 20 is significantly higher than this hypothesized mean of negative 0.54 degrees Celsius or which means that our null hypothesis is the hypothesis of no difference that is negative 0.54 degrees Celsius versus the alternative that mu is greater than that which will indicate that water is added so we are going to see which way is our sample is pointing now so for these 20 samples say the lab report is that the mean of the freezing points of these samples is negative 0.4082 degrees Celsius which of course is greater than negative 0.54 the mean that's there in the null hypothesis now of course it's greater than that but we want to see that how significantly it's greater than that so we will have to look at the distribution of sample means for all samples of size 20 from the population of pure milk and of course of size 2 milliliters each. So what we have is that in case there is no added water in the milk the sample mean should be close to this value which is negative point five four and if we have a higher mean that will indicate towards the towards this side that there is added water in the milk so in this case this is the situation that should be if we believe that the null hypothesis is true that is if we believe that there is no water added in the milk but this is what we actually see that and which looks quite far actually unlikely far so we will tend to believe that the milk does have added water in the in it and let's go ahead and compute the probability that we shall see a sample mean of this high or a higher value in case the null hypothesis is true so let's go towards those calculations 
so we want to compute the this tail probability and of course this uh, you know this portion doesn't actually touch the horizontal axis okay if we zoom in we'll see a better picture let's look at that so so we want to see this here that you know what is the area or just a moment uh, let's go here all right what's the area to the right of uh, negative uh, 0.4082 all right which will be our p value and look at these values the that area is going to be pretty small so we'll turn to our ti83 calculator to compute that area so first we'll turn it on okay and we are doing a stats we are doing a test all right we have the summary statistics instead of raw data here so we will press on a stat and we got negative 0.54 as our null hypothesis then we have uh, 0.1 as population standard deviation then 0.4082 as the sample mean the sample size is 20 but our alternative is uh, greater than so we will ask it to compute the p-value and here is the p-value it's 1.9 times 10 to the negative 9 that is if the null is true that is if the milk is pure then the probability that we will see a sample mean of uh, such a high or a higher sample mean is simply 1.9 times 10 to the negative 9 or in other words only two out of one billion samples of size 20 are going to show us such an extreme situation so we'll tend to believe that the null hypothesis is not true and uh, uh, we can um, we can safely conclude that there is added water in the milk all right because our chance of being wrong or our chances of being uh, of making a wrong decision is are, are what only two in a billion now if we have such a situation of course we will uh, go ahead and go ahead with a penalty against supplier but then we have to defend our decisions and it's not that easy to do so let me show you let, let's extend our story further with a clip that might help us understand this p-value okay yeah no did you did, did you do a test okay and it Oh, okay. You think it's got, you're really confident it's got water in it. Okay. You understand the ramifications of this. I mean, if we don't cancel the contract, that's a pretty big health concern, potentially. Yeah, and if we do, right, yeah. Okay, but now how, how sure are you of this? Because this is, okay, you, okay, you did a test, good. You te tested the freezing point, good standard, good, good. What was, what was the p-value for your test? Oh, really? Okay, 1.9 times, okay, ho hold on. 1.9 times 10 to the negative ninth? Oh, eh, we're pretty sure then, aren't we, huh? Uh, okay, well, probably going to have to cancel the contract, but you can understand, I mean, this is, you know, Mr. Roy doesn't really, since doesn't work with him, and this contract's with his brother-in-law. This just isn't going to go over well. But, um, no, he's coming by in a minute or two. I really I appreciate the call because now I can at least try to explain it to him. No, no, thanks. Thanks. Th yeah, thanks. No, the, the thing is, he'll, he'll hold me responsible for the liability if we don't cancel the contract. Yeah. CEO and everything. Right. Yeah. Okay. Come in. Oh, hi, Mr. Roy. Hey, Brian. You, really great to see you. Come in. It is, it is. Here, you have, have, have my chair, please. Please oh, have my chair. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, and you, you have put me in such a great trouble, Brian. You know, you know what? You canceled Dan's contract. And now my yeah. wife, she's applying mm -hmm. all those diabetes things on my food. I mean, I'm in trouble. Why did you cancel Dan's contract? Um, well, uh, sir, 
It's a, it's a, it's kind of a long story. It's, it's a short story, really. Um, um, mm. Let me see. The, um, the the milk was bad, sir. Milk? I mean, how come the milk was bad? He told me he gives you tanker and tanker full of milk, yeah, I, and you and I, you did few few drops. That's what he told it, right, me. Yeah, I know. We have we have this thing called quality assurance, and we actually test the the milk from time to time, and uh, we we t do this freezing point test to see how much water is in the milk. What do you do? And, freeze it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ex yes, sir, exactly. And uh, it turns out, um, yeah, it, it it froze, and that meant it had too much water in it. And we're we're really, really confident that it's got too much water in it, and it's gone bad. I just don't understand. Again, I told you, he gives us so much milk, and he told me they just took a just a little bit. I mean, w what does well, it yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, no, that that's right, sir. You can you can take a, a relatively small sample from a large population of milk and still get very accurate results. In, in fact, just so you know, th this had a, uh, it had something called a p-value, which was uh, 1.9 times 10 to the negative ninth. Don't talk that fuzzy math to me. What is p-value? What you mean? I oh, don't okay. understand. Um, all right. P-value. Well, let's assume the milk was okay. The chance that we would get a sample as bad as we got would be... 1.9 times 10 to the negative ninth, or or like point zero zero zero, a whole bunch of zeros. I mean, it's really, really, really small. I you gotta understand. I don't understand what you are saying. I'm uh, not. So, uh, okay. oh, I'm not used to seeing um, so many zeros I, I, I after know. the decimal. You uh, know, okay, okay. right? I, I have look. I know you like to go to Atlantic City, Charlestown. I know what you like to do. Hold on a second. Here's some dice. I know you're a dice man. Yeah. Try to roll me ten sixes in a row. I can do that. Well, I got um, only I got only one. No. I can I can do that again. Okay. Um, hold, hold, I keep rolling, sir. I have a call. Lost it. Yeah. No, no. He's he's here. He's here. Uh, no. He's trying to roll ten sixes. He's going to be quite a while.